What's up, everybody? My name is Gody, and I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this bomb purple and pink Barbie doll looking look. You feel me? Look at the eyes again to it. If that's something you want to see, stay tuned, sis. <laughs> All right, you guys, so here we are, fresh face, and we are doing all drugstore products. So everything in this video that you see that I use, I either purchased from CVS, Target, or um, did I go to Walmart? Walmart was too far, so I only have stuff from CVS and Target. If you would like to see the shop with me and the haul, that is a separate video. If you guys need wig details, wanna know how to lay your hair, I got a video on that too. Girl, I got all types of videos. So y'all might as well just go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a video, and then you won't miss nothing, baby. You won't miss a thing. Okay, for moisturizer, I guess I'm just gonna put on some of my black girl sunscreen. Now, I already had this. This actually wasn't a part of the haul, but that is sold in Target. So, boom, there's that. So, I have found this primer yesterday. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Pore Minimizing Skin Primer. God damn. Um, but I was actually looking for the Baby Skin by Maybelline. And, um, yeah, I didn't find this yesterday. I found this today. So, I'm actually going to take this one back because I heard good things about the Baby Skin. So, I want to use Baby Skin instead. So this is the Baby Skin by Maybelline Instant Pore Eraser. Maybelline New York Express Brow 2-in-1 Pencil and Powder. Ooh. So there's a pencil end. Oh, wow. And a powdery end. I've never seen that before. Okay, now I'm just gonna brush the product up and through my brows. These actually look a little dark. Like, was that brown or black? And this one looks a little thick. And it's starting to smudge on the end. I don't know if y'all can tell. I do not like that, but let's clean it up. all right y'all so my brows are done um it did take me some time i had messed up i had to redo it but anyway i do want to say that this baby skin primer is making everything just like glide onto my skin um it feels so smooth now i could not find any type of like eyeshadow base and i know elf sells one and i i just did not see those products at the Target or the CVS. So hopefully this concealer is good enough as for an eyeshadow base. So on my eyes today, I'm gonna to be using this Maybelline City Mini Palette. I'm gonna start off with this purple color. I'm gonna blend that into my crease. the purple on the eye it looks it looks pretty decent uh, for me to not have you know like an eyeshadow base on I think it looks okay I think it definitely would have popped if I could have found a base but since we couldn't here we are I do want to kind of clean up my brows just a little bit more not necessarily the brow I just want to bring the concealer down a little bit more into the purple So I decided to cut the crease using the concealer 
um, this one. And now I'm gonna come in with this pink shade and go over that until I get to the corner. I'm gonna use a flat brush. We put the pink in. Now I'm gonna come right back on top with with the glitter, the pink glitter, and put that on top. And hopefully that looks good. So the glitter isn't as bright as I want it to be, but um we're gonna make it work. Now it's time for foundation. I'm a little nervous about this foundation um, because it's hard for me to find colors. Let me tell you what this is first. So this is the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation. It's full coverage. It has SPF 18 and it is in the shade Soft Sable 875. Foundations, it's hard for me to find my shade. So we're going to try this out. Hopefully it's a perfect match. The beauty blender that I'm using to um, do my foundation, you can actually find these at the um, at the drugstores as well. This is one of the Real Techniques beauty blenders, and they come in packs of two. And I usually usually will use a different beauty blender for like, oh that's a real piece of baby hair, for like my contour. Then I do my concealer, then I do my foundation. So that's like three different beauty blenders, y'all. So my foundation is nice and blended and it actually doesn't look bad. I'm gonna let that oxidize down and see what it gives. Next, I'm going to come in with my um, True Blend Undercover Concealer and this is in the shade Espresso and I'm using this for my contour. So I'm gonna put some here on my cheeks. And this was the darkest color concealer they had. So I said, we're gonna have to make it work because that's all they got. Then I'm gonna take my lighter shade again. I don't know why I did the heart. I just tried it because I seen somebody else do it. <laughs> and I'm gonna blend out the contour parts first. Now I'm blending it out with a different beauty blender. Then I'm gonna come through and start to blend out the concealer. I try to let the concealer that's underneath my eyes sit the longest. So I'll do everywhere else and hit the eye dead last. I blended everything out with the brush. Now I'm gonna come back through with the blender and sponge, whatever you wanna call it. And hit those contour lines one more time.
Okay, so for setting powder for under the eye, I got the Black Radiance Blue Setting Powder. Yeah, this powder actually wasn't in the haul that I got because I had already had this on my own. And I'm actually going to be using the other side of my beauty blender that is straight. Um, this also, if this one isn't Real Techniques, this is Morphe. Okay, that's on. I'm gonna let this sit for two seconds. Thought this was um, lip liner, but it looks like it's eyeliner, but oh well. While I'm baking, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. And I'm gonna use this matte lipstick from Beauty Bakery. This is the shade Brown Sugar. That is so cute. Okay, Beauty Bakery. Let's go ahead and blend this out. We've been baking for some time now. All right, guys, we are almost finished. I am gonna come back in with a little bit of my powder. So this is the Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless Powder. This is the shade 362 and Truffle. Now, I did not get to... I did not find any blush that was like calling my name. I am going to continue to look for a blush that I like. Um, like I told you guys, um, the shelves were kind of bare. I use a different bronzer or bronzer. Well, that too. I'm going to be using a different blush and a different bronzer. Um, this is actually a Becca one. So I just used my, um, the CoverGirl pencil to do my waterline, do the little white line thing. Use the little bronze looking pink from the same palette earlier. So I put that kind of like in this little inner corner here. Hopefully you guys can tell. I'm gonna have another black pencil eyeliner from wet and wild that I'm going to use to come back through on that ladder the ladder the water line I think that is it guys you just touch up this lip a little bit all right guys I'm gonna fix my hair fix my lip and I'm gonna come back and show you guys the final product <laughs> 